Hello, we come to another week of evening prayer. I hope very much that you're finding these to be a spiritual time, a time of engagement with God through Jesus Christ. If you're accessing this for the first time, welcome. And I believe that in these next few minutes, God will meet with you and bless you. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. O oh Lord, my God, how excellent is your greatness. You are clothed with majesty and honour, wrapped in light as with a garment. The Lord knows the time the sun knows the time for its setting. You make darkness that it may be light. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. When you send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will make music to my God while I have my being. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Every day we have one or more psalms and today we have Psalm 29. Ascribe to the Lord, you powers of heaven. Ascribe to the Lord glory and strength. Ascribe to the Lord the honour due to his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of holiness. The voice of the Lord is upon the waters. The God of glory thunders. The Lord is upon the mighty waters. The voice of the Lord is mighty in operation. The voice of the Lord is a glorious voice. The voice of the Lord breaks the cedar trees. The Lord breaks the cedars of Lebanon. The voice of the Lord splits the flash of lightning. The voice of the Lord shakes the wilderness. The voice of the Lord makes the oak trees writhe and strips the forest bare. In his temple all cry glory. The Lord sits enthroned above the water flood. The Lord sits enthroned as king for evermore. The Lord shall give strength to his people. The Lord shall give his people the blessing of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So we come to a reading from Paul's letter to the Romans chapter 7. As Paul continues to explore how we have peace with God through Jesus Christ. Do you not know, brothers and sisters, for I'm speaking to those who know the law, that the law is binding on a person only during that person's lifetime? Thus a married woman is bound by the law to her husband as long as he lives. But if her husband dies, She's discharged from the law concerning the husband. Accordingly, she'll be called an adulteress if she lives with another man while her husband is alive. But if her husband dies, she's freed from that law. And if she marries another man, she is not an adulteress. In the same way, my friends, you have died to the law through the body of Christ 
so that you may belong to another, to him who has been raised from the dead in order that we might bear fruit for God. While we were living in the flesh, our sinful passions, aroused by the law, were at work in our members to bear fruit for death. But now we are discharged from the law, dead to that which held us captive, so that we are slaves, not under the old written code, but in the new life of the Spirit. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So we pray that the Lord will bless us as we put our trust in him, that we might know in our experience the new life of the Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and be not wise in your own sight. The Song of Mary. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. So we pray to the Lord. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God, that the rest of this day may be holy, peaceful and full of your presence. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God, that all that we have done and the people we have met today may serve to bring us closer to you. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God, that we may follow you wherever you lead. Let our attention be drawn to those things that we need to see. And let our ears be unstopped to those things that we need to hear. In faith we pray. We pray to you, our God, that you will sustain the faith and hope of those who are lonely, oppressed, and anxious in faith we pray we pray to you our God that you will strengthen us in your service and fill our hearts with longing for your kingdom to grow let the Holy Spirit fall bringing his gifts his fruits and Christ's rule and reign in faith we pray we pray to you our God Each one of us, Lord, grant us grace to remember, as we come towards the end of this time, that if we cast our cares on you, you will carry our burdens because you care for us. Amen. And so, our special prayer for today. This is the first Sunday after Trinity, and so we have a prayer that we say this week. O oh God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers. 
And because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good thing without you. Grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments, we may both please you in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. I hope very much that we'll be able to pray together again tomorrow.